All right, hello there, guys. I'm Joy here, and uh, in the last part we did a whole bunch of secret stuff. We got seven secret stars at the castle, which is a lot of secret stars. We also unlocked the last two caps, pounded on the last two cap switches to unlock them. So uh, now, now that we have all of the caps unlocked, unlocked among other, uh, you can you can pretty much go to any level in the game that, in that we can access, and we should be able to beat it 100 percent. Like right here, Jolly Rod, right here, this, this world. We couldn't be this world before because we didn't have the metal cap, which is required for one of the stars, but anyway, this world is called Jolly Roger Bay, and uh, first star is called Plunder in the Sunken Ship. It's just the same music as the Secret Aquarium, you know, the same the music that uh, people find really, really, really relaxing. I don't know, you don't you won't have to worry about me getting too relaxed while I'm playing this. Alright, so as you can see here, there's an eel, and uh, see, this is kind of weird, I never really understood this. You gotta swim in front of his face, and then you gotta swim all the way back up to the surface. Which of course takes a little bit of time to do it, and then, and then you gotta swim back down. And they actually, I think I changed that for the DS version. So uh, instead of having to, you having to swim all the way back up for some reason, for some reason he just comes right out. Anyway, so you gotta go inside the ship, but now it's time to open up some of these chests. So this is just number one, and uh, basically, if you collect one of the air bubbles that comes out, you can re it restores your health. So, but there's a very, there's one thing that I've been going to be trying to, trying to do with these chests, basically. <laughs> As you can see here, the water starts draining, but uh, our goal is to get to that box. Uh, actually, it's entirely possible if you do it just right. You can. Uh, yes, we did it. It's entirely possible to get up, the, up there before the water drains ains, and uh, you can just grab the star easily that way. So anyway, that's the easy way to grab star number one of Jolly Roger Bay. Ah, yes, we plundered that sunken ship. Alright, and now it's time for a star number two. Can the eel come out to play? Well, let's find out if he can. So we're going to be swimming back to that exact same area once again. As you can see, because we drained all the water out of that ship, yep, the ship is out that is now floating at the top, as you can see there. And the eel has moved all the way over here. <laughs> Alright, so basically you gotta you gotta touch the star on the eel's tail. L L to get it off to get it off his tail. <laughs> you know, it's probably it's it's probably best if you can if you can make sure to grab have the star off his tail as he's coming out of the uh, seaweed. There we go. Just don't just don't touch him because it, if you touch him, he'll knock you away and it'll do a whole bunch of damage. Anyway, that's time for the third star, Treasure of the Ocean Cave. Now, once again, you gotta go all the way over there to that uh, other. You gotta go all the way to the other part of the level here. That's uh, here, but you do you do get to explore a new area that you haven't seen before here. See, so, so you, you see that cave over there? There, well, the, oh, the, oh, that's where the star is located, actually. <laughs> the 
Okay, so you gotta you gotta watch out for these stone pillars that come falling down on you. But as, as long as you keep running, I think mean, they shouldn't hit you. So basically, here you gotta do the same thing that you did in the while uh, 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 plundering the sunken ship. <laughs> you have to have to unlock all these chests in the right order. And that's your third star in Jolly Roger Bay. Anyway, now it's time for star number four, red coins on the ship afloat. And uh, while we're here, let's talk to this ball on buddy. No, not punch him, just talk to him. And we'll open up the cannon since we need that for another star later on. Alright, so there's another red coin on top of this on top of this pole over here. <laughs> and oh that hurt. Turns out there's another red coin at the bottom of the sea here. It's the exact same area. You can see it right there, actually. It's... <clears throat> there, there we go. Now the last three red coins in this area are all on top of the ship, so that's why I saved them for last, because, uh, as you know what, the, uh... <laughs> The red, this red, the a red coin star will also pop up on top of the ship. So, <laughs> and uh, that, and the uh, metal cap is important is important for a later star, as I explained earlier in this part. Oh, I missed. Come on, ship. Let me jump on you. All right, I managed to get it. That's 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 always nice. All right, and with all the eight red coins collected, now now all you need to do is jump up here and collect the star. This is a weird effect there, like because like, because the ship's rocking back and forth, like. A star just a star doesn't stay away with you, so it uh, so it actually move away from you a little bit while you're doing that star. But anyway, that's time for star number five, blast of the stone pillar. This is a star that you need the cannon for because you know I mean it is called blast the stone pillar, so obviously you're gonna need to blast the stone pillar with a cannon. Alright, now the hardest thing here is that you've got to aim just right. And that is definitely not how to aim. Once, once again, that is definitely not how to aim. That's way too high. That's just a little bit too high. <laughs> you you got to aim really precisely to be, I guess they'd be able to get this star. Wow, I, I really suck at aiming this thing, I guess. Eh. Ouch. <clears throat> well, anyway, once you manage to make that shot, all you gotta do is just jump, just jump onto the, uh, the stone pill, the stone platform, and uh, grab your fifth star. Alright, now it's time for the sixth star. This is the star that you really need the uh, metal cap for. It's called Through the Jet Stream. Oh. 
All right, so you just gotta try to get to, uh, I, I, I get to the star as quickly as you can, because the metal cap doesn't last very long, unfortunately. There we go. Now it's time for the 100 coin star. This is probably one of the harder 100 coin stars in the game, just because uh, there aren't very many there aren't very many coins in this area in this level to begin with. And so right over here, you can grab three coins from that box. Now in the DS version, there's actually a blue coin switch uh, on on the shore right here, but it's it's not here in this version, so. And again, I kind of think that a Super Mario 64 DS wasn't wasn't all that great of a version of a Super Mario 64, personally. And that's just my opinion. Mm. <laughs> Alright, come on. Just grab the coins. There we go. Ah, uh, what the hell? I can't see anything. Uh, that was weird. That was a weird camera angle. Oh, what? How did I get hurt by that? That was weird. There we go. So if you want the 100 coin star here, you're pretty much going to have to grab almost every single coin. Basically, that's, this is all the switch. This is all the switch does. It's not really all that useful, even though it did save me from falling right there. Oh, and then I fell. There we go. Now it's time to go down to the bottom of the sea. Yes, scurvy dog. Ah, oh, come on, man. Alright, and there's the star that we won't be getting. <laughs> Alright, can I grab this one up, Mushroom? Yes, I can. It just so happens that right over here, there's a there's a blue coin switch. It only has a blue coin switch, but it, but it gives you but it gives you six blue coins, which is a lot. So <laughs> all right, now we got 100 coins. Now we just need to jump up and collect our 100 coin star. Alright guys, I think that's going to just about do it for this part. Alright, we fully completed Jolly Roger Bay, and uh, in the next part, we'll actually be, he we'll be heading to a new world, of course. 
or it's a world that we couldn't complete before without the vanish cap. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next part. For now, goodbye.